greeting guys so welcome back so in this tutorial we'll be guiding you through how to deploy this independent analysis application from setting up the model to building a responsive web interface so all hosted on like google collab for free and by the end you will not only understand uh, how to work with powerful uh, transformer models but you will also have the function functional way of how these type of model can be deployed in web app Before jumping, if you are passionate about AI and machine learning, I have got something special for you. Simply scan the QR code on the screen to head over to my website where you can subscribe to my free newsletters for AI and ML blogs. Once you are on the site, don't forget to sign up for the newsletters. You will get notified on everything from beginner guide to advanced AI techniques. And if you love in-depth articles, make sure to subscribe to my Substack AI magazine where I share detailed insights, case studies, and thought pieces in weekly and monthly basis. So why are you waiting? Just scan the code, join the community. Let's learn and do together. Uh, so this tutorial will be helpful for to fast prototyping uh, of LLM based application and to share this application with your network. And then sentiment analysis, as you may know, like is the process of determining whether a piece of text conveys the positive or negative emotions. So it's a critical tool in areas like customer feedback and then social media monitoring and then product reviews. So build this, um, we will need a digital bird, a lightweight high performance model. It's been like fine tuned, especially for like sentiment analysis. And digital bird is a part of um, the bird uh, family and then designed to offer a crazy of large language models with a faster performance and making it uh, ideal for like real time applications like ours and then this model is fine tuned on stanford uh, sentiment uh, tree bank which is sst2 and ensuring it provides accurate sentiment predictions but what makes this even more exciting is uh, how we will be accessing it. So using Streamlight, we have created an interactive web app and uh, where user can simply input uh, any text in and uh, instantly see if the sentiment uh, is positive or negative. So along with the confidence score, uh, Streamlight allows us to like deploy powerful machine learning models with a sleek, easy to use interface. So no need to have the no need to have like complicated setup so for the first time uh, we have to make sure that we install all the necessary packages that we need uh, for to like um, run this web based uh, application using streamlight so for to do that we have to install streamlight and transformer so streamlight is uh, installed in your uh, collab environment uh, so make sure about it and then streamlight is an open source uh, app framework that is excellent for like turning data scripts into shareable web apps and alongside if you are working with um, language models like gpg lma3 sorry uh, you will need libraries from uh, hugging face transformer so let's install the packages so once we install all the required libraries we have to import a streamlight and transformer uh, so once it's done, um, we have to start uh, working on uh, so Streamlight. Uh, this will import the Streamlight library, which is used to create like web interface. Uh, so we use uh, ST as an alias uh, to go with it. And then we'll be using Transformer. Uh, so this will import the pipeline function from the Transformer library. So which is used to load and apply pre-trained models like GPT-2 or like digital bot. And uh, here we see like ST catch resource. So this is a decorator from uh, Streamlight that helps catch the result of function it wraps. So in this case, uh, the model loading process is catched. So this ensures that the model is loaded only once. So speeding up like future interaction. And then uh, we will be having define load model function, which is responsible for loading the pre-trained uh, model. And then we will be, ha we'll be having a uh, pipeline uh, sentiment analysis here uh, using digital bot. So we can make use of this uh, base model to get the uh, sentiment of the text that we uh, feed to the model and then this function will return the model so once uh, we done with the load model we will be calling this load model to get the model 
um, and then we, we should set up our stream light interface so basically we will be giving a title with st title and then uh, we'll be assigning the header for the application uh, so where we'll be asking the user to like enter the text and then uh, once uh, we done with it we have to give the uh, text input area where user can input that text okay uh, so and then we uh, the height of this text area is 200 so it can be adjustable uh, for sure so um, once we're done with it um, We have to assign a ST button. So this creates the button uh, with the label analyze sentiment here. And once it's clicked, uh, the following blocks will be executed. So for the first time, it will check uh, the user input is not empty uh, to make sure that we are just sending some text for at least to get the sentiment. If it's the case, it will. Uh, it will uh, if it's empty then it will uh, just wrote a message like please enter the text to analyze uh, the sentiment mm, so once it's done uh, if the user input the input some text in the text box uh, so we'll be having our uh, stream light spinner so uh, the, this line will create the spinner so with the message analyzed uh, sentiment to indicate the application is like working on the analysis process so the spinner will last until the analysis uh, analysis complete i mean uh, once we get the response from the model so it will stop and then um, we have the response uh, from the model uh, so once we have our response we have to loop uh, and iterate over the result written by the model um, in in case multiple texts are analyzed so and then uh, it processes and results the uh, sentiment uh, analysis of each piece of the sentence basically uh, we will be writing the text uh, and then uh, i mean text number um, and then uh, we will be uh, writing the sentiment of this text and then again uh, we will be uh, just uh, getting the score i mean the confidence score of the prediction and then uh, we have uh, some additional uh, features in the application uh, which will uh, help to guide the user uh, to how make, they can make use of uh, this application uh, so we have this design in the sideboard with a guide and then uh, with the info information about the application and then uh, some examples to uh, just instruct the user or the uh, to, to help them to like understand how they should uh, enter the text and get their response That's it. So this is the basic setup of our application. Okay, so let me execute this So just download unnecessary Files and models So let me see just created so what we miss out is we have to create an app so for that i have to do this i mean uh, uh, write file app here about this cell uh yeah there's an issue in copy okay so now we just created the uh, app file so once it's done we have to install the local channel as we know like uh, google um, collab uh, don't support like um, direct hosting so we will be using local channel to expose uh, our um, local server to the internet so local channel allows you to like easily share your locally running web servers so for to install local uh, channel uh, ensure that you have installed node.js uh, in uh, collab so, bas uh, so basically uh, just installed already in the collab then install local channel globally using npm okay so for that npm install local channel let me execute this uh, once it's done we have to fetch the public ip so use the curl command to like retrieve your public ip uh, address so for that we will be doing curl ipv4 uh, i can zip.com so it will return 
in the IP. So once it's done, uh, for, we have to run our Streamlight uh, application with the classic Streamlight run app and then with the logs and uh, we will be launching local channel with the port 8501. So let's execute this. Now it just created an URL, so just click this URL. So I'm having issue. Okay, I think there is a technical glitch uh, in the URL. Now it's working. Uh, so we have to paste the password that we have copied from the uh, notebook and then click to submit so the application is loading it may take few seconds yeah now it's done so we are having uh, some error saying cannot load streamlight front end code this can happen when you update streamlight while streamlight app is running okay mm, let me recheck the logs i will try to rerun uh, I mean, I, I really would like to interrupt the execution. Restart session and run all. So basically, if you see, we have only three uh, cells. One is for the uh, application script, and then another one is for to like uh, install local channel, and another one is for to get the IP, public IP, and then the last one is to run the Streamlight. So now uh, let me copy the public URL. Sorry, and paste it here. I mean, public IP, and then paste it here. I can't see anything. Yeah. I think there is some issue like, uh, I mean, technical glitch, but yeah, once I refresh the page, yeah, it's coming right now. So why I'm just uh, showing all these issues with you is um, to make sure that even uh, when you will be testing the application, you may get the same error. So it may help you to like uh, how to resolve it in, in, in a way. So I really want to show you all these uh, error screens as well yeah now uh, we are ready like we have our sentiment analyze for analyzer application is deployed with this url and it just asks for the text to enter okay um, and as we saw like uh, we have the sidebar with a basic uh, instruction to the user with a few example text uh, to test this application so i have already prepared a list to test this application so let me try with one by one so the first uh, text in that uh, list is uh, regarding the product recommendation i mean uh, i mean yeah like product um, review so uh, user is like reviewing the product like uh, product is amazing and exceeded my expectation obviously it's a positive sentiment let's analyze the sentiment using digital bat to see what it returns of course yeah with positive sentiment with high confidence score okay so next thing is we will be testing another uh, function sorry another uh, sentence 
so i did not like the expectation at all so this is obviously a bad i mean negative sentiment and then with lower so it just says it's a negative sentiment with high score like yeah it's obviously right correct so then uh, i will i really want to test another text uh, uh, in a neutral i mean for to test the neutral sentiment but i'm not sure this will but we'll give a neutral as the sentiment class but let's try nothing special okay so the product is okay which is a good sentiment and then nothing special maybe a bit of negative sentiment let's see okay so it just gives negative sentiment with the score of 0 0.9 each okay so we can uh, uh, test another mixed sentiment uh, the service was bad the staff were kind let's see okay so it gives positive sentiment for this text okay okay maybe you can just fine tune uh, this distributor model with uh, your own uh, data set and you can uh, test it uh, using uh, this application but still uh, this is not an objective of this tutorial but yeah uh, so i really want to showcase how you can uh, test your uh, llm based prototype application easily using google collab uh, free tire as it just provides gpu for us so yeah so now uh, we are at the end of the tutorial uh, uh, there you have it uh, I think it's a fun way to uh, like access uh, and build and serve your own uh, LLMP applications in web app. And I hope uh, you find this uh, tutorial helpful uh, in your uh, prototyping journey. So let me know in the comments section uh, about your questions and uh, what need, what topics need to be covered in our upcoming session. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel and we will get notified whenever I upload a new video. So until then, this is Abonia. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.